Hi everyone, I am Dr. Shreyas Ramurthy from the Eye Foundation Group of Eye Hospitals. And in today's topic, we will cover on what to expect when you come for a laser vision correction. When you visit the hospital, what are the detailed testing that is done and we will take you through a tour of our hospital and tell you what exactly is being done at every step. First and foremost thing that we need to do is an excellent refraction checkup. Now, Every time all those who are wearing glasses will know that when they go they are made to read a chart. There are a lot of lenses which are fitted in the eye and then they are made to check their power. In that we do a particular test called a retinoscopy. Now doing a very skillful good retinoscopy by a very well trained optometrist is extremely important to the outcome of a laser vision correction. And this is a step which many of us don't understand the value. At Eye Foundation we have an extremely well trained group of optometrists who do a very good retinoscopic examination evaluation as well which helps us accurately assess and pinpoint the refractive error that the patient has and that refractive error is what is going to be treated. Now once an accurate assessment of the refractive error is done there are a lot of tests that we do to assess the corneal shape, curvature and strength. The first test that you are going to see is called the pentacam. Now the pentacam is a revolutionary three-dimensional tomographic image. What it does is it looks at a 3D image of the cornea. It looks at the front part of the cornea, the thickness of the cornea, the back part of the cornea and gives us more than 1 lakh points on the cornea which are very very important in getting those measurements for assessing the suitability of the candidate for a laser vision correction. Next we do procedure called the corvus. Now the corvus looks at the strength of the cornea. Now it is also important that we test the strength of the cornea because the strength of the cornea is going to be slightly altered during the laser vision correction. So it is necessary that we know uh, that a cornea is biomechanically stable and strong for it to undergo a laser vision correction. This is also cross-checked with another important and advanced device called the anterion which is called a OCT based device. In this device you will see that it gives us various parameters of the cornea, the curvature, we have a layer called the epithelium, the thickness of which has to be measured very accurately for us to get good outcomes in laser vision correction. And all of these important parameters this anterior image is also able to give us. After this we also look at our tear film. Now the tear film is very important for the quality of our vision. And this is assessed by another image called the lippy view which looks at the various aspects of our tear film and tear film dynamics and then gives us an accurate measurement of whether a person has any form of dryness or not which needs to be treated before a laser vision correction. Only after all these detailed tests that are done that we finally decide whether you are a suitable candidate for laser vision correction or which option of laser vision correction would be ideal for you. Thank you so much for your patient listening.